I figured I'd jump back into things today and I'm feeling like trying to make a chill vibey remix to an Eminem song because, well, I don't know. It's just what I feel like doing. I'll be using a loop pack that I cooked up to make today's remix. The pack includes 10 fully mixed and mastered original loops, the individual stem files that comprise those loops, and the MIDI files of each instrument played. You can use the MIDI files to swap out the sounds I used for other sounds, or you can use them to get a more in-depth look at how I composed these loops as a kind of study tool for you to analyze and dissect. I should also mention that a lot of the vintage textures and sounds I created for the sampled record type loops were made with the help of my RC20 expansion. It's got 20 custom made RC20 presets. Both the loop pack and the RC20 presets will be linked below. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pick a chill type melody from my sample pack. All right, this is the one. We'll just get the stems. And you can approach this a number of ways. If you want to get more complex with it, you can flip the samples or manipulate them in some way. But if you're looking to make something as quickly as possible, you can just add drums. I'm gonna go with the latter and start off with a rim sample. And we'll make that a little bit darker with an EQ. Then add some additional ambience with reverb. Maybe add a crash here. And I'll lay down a deep kick that pretty much just follows the bass pattern. Now we'll make a simple hat pattern. And finally, a shaker perk. Now we can think about how to arrange this.
and I kind of want to pitch the sample down a bit just to see how it sounds. Yeah, that's fire. All right, now we need an Eminem acapella, and it's probably a good idea to find an acapella with a chill delivery so it will complement the vibe of the instrumental rather than clash with it. And since there aren't too many chill Eminem vocals to choose from, it shouldn't be difficult to come up with a potential option here. I think Nat will probably fit this beat the best in terms of its tempo and tone. So let's give it a shot. It definitely needs some mixing, but I'm actually pretty impressed with how well it fits right off the bat. <sighs> I just wish I could get rid of that weird whiny vocal ad lib in the background though. It would fit so much better without that in there, but I can't think of a way to get rid of it without severely degrading the quality of the vocal overall, so it probably isn't worth the trade-off. Anyway, I'll get to mixing what we have here and then throw the final mix in at the end of the video. And just a reminder, the loop pack I used in this video is available on BeatStars, and the link for that is down below. Now let's check out the final mix. Sick and I'm not gonna cover my mouth next time that I coughed. 